So this is one of my uh, preferred motors. This is a motor that I actually really like. So this is a uh, 4300KV uh, Pro 4 HD. Uh, this is a fabulous motor. It really is. And so this is the rotor. So one of the things that I noticed about the rotor is uh, it's shorter. So maybe that's how they get the KVs. It's just a shorter uh, magnet. Uh, if you saw, uh, for example, the Hobbywing uh, Quick Run 3660 has a longer magnet, uh, but this one is shorter with a greater diameter. So this is 22 millimeters. I think the other one was 27. Uh, but I don't remember the thickness. So this is a full pull, four pole magnet. Uh, this is 18.34. The other one might have been 17. Uh, or maybe it was similar. I would have to check. Uh, but this is probably how they get the KV. So the KV is just a uh, shorter magnet uh, for the rotor. Uh, still five millimeter. Very nice. And the amount of wire, I mean, look at all that copper. Uh, so the little T's inside, I forget what those things are called in the stator. They look like a little upside down T. That's where the windings go through. Now there's a total of 12. Uh, if you compare it to some of the motors that come in RTRs, uh, for example, the BL2S, uh, that one only has six. Uh, so this has twice as many sections for the windings. Uh, but let's see the gas. That's really what I was interested in. And I know I'm switching between the poles. The sensors are here on the side. So every time I turn it, it switches from uh, north and south. Uh, so your A and B are going to change because of that reason. But I'm just looking at the max numbers, and we're looking at uh, 2094, 2021. Uh, the strength of this magnet, based on the distance from those sensors, uh, is about the same as the Hobby Wing 3660 on the quick run with uh, 3700 kVs. So that is interesting. Uh, just magnet is shorter. That's probably what gives this one more kVs. Uh, but again, very nice uh, motor, very torquey. Uh, if you've watched some of my videos, I have some speed runs with this motor in a Fortec. Uh, it actually works amazing in a Fortec on just 2S. Well, that being said, I hope this video was informative or at least entertaining. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you in the next one.